Rupert Stanislaw, poet, writer, San Francisco resident, Filipino immigrant. I was standing in line for coffee, and due to allergies, I sneezed into my shirt. A man who was three or four people behind me in line gets in my face, points directly at my face and says, we don't want your disgusting corona disease, you dark Chinese kung fu wannabe. You Chinese bring those virus here, you should go back home. Go back to China. I need to leave this country that I'm disgusting and don't look at him or he'll kill me. These stories are real. They are just a tiny fraction of the more than 1,200 first-hand accounts from Asian Americans across the country. More than a third from right here in the Bay Area, who've shared their experiences with coronavirus-related racism in the past two weeks through the Stop Asian American Pacific Islander Hate Center, an online reporting portal set up by San Francisco State University's Asian Studies Department, Chinese for Affirmative Action, and other civil rights groups. Waiting to enter Walgreens to get prescription, group of construction workers not doing social distancing made fun of the situation by mocking me, faking coughing, spitting, and making slant eyes gesture till I told him to cut it out. As the virus, which was first reported in Wuhan, China, spread around the globe. And I'd like to begin by providing an update on what we are doing to minimize the impact of the Chinese virus on our nation's students. So did the hate an FBI intelligence report going so far as to warn Americans to brace themselves for an onslaught of hate crimes against Asians. I was walking with my wife in our neighborhood when a car drove by and someone with a bullhorn yelled at us something unintelligible, except we could make him out saying virus. This anti-Asian sentiment didn't begin with COVID-19, but has been deeply rooted in American history, starting during the gold rush, where by 1850, there were laws like the Exclusion Act, banning the Chinese from immigrating to the United States and more. Fast forward to today, a new generation of Asian Americans are taking up the fight against discrimination. Back then, 10, 15 years ago, we didn't have the power to do this. But now we can use the power of social media to really fight back and, and create awareness and really call people out that, and, and set an example. That sentiment prompted celebrities and Instagram influencers like Asians Never Die, Asians with Attitudes, and David and Tian Nguyen of the account Jackfruit to use their platforms not for their intended purpose, but for the greater good. We just got flooded with all this uh, racism and um, this, just all this news on, on uh, racism. So we knew in our hearts that we couldn't let it slide. So we decided to you know, use our platform to um, uh, for a change. That change is also coming from lawmakers. Assemblymember Phil Ting sent this letter to Governor Gavin Newsom asking xenophobia be denounced. Both the governor and Mayor London Breed took swift action with a whopping 47% of racially charged incidents recorded by the Stop AAPI Hate Center happening in the workplace, community groups and businesses are collaborating to make a statement. The founder of nonprofit Better Brave, which combats workplace harassment and discrimination, teamed up with socially conscious fashion brand Uprisers and the wildly popular Facebook community Asian Hustle Network to start the hashtag hate is a virus. My grandmother, who I, I love so dearly, you know, she she lived, she immigrated here when she was 21, so she's been here for a while. But, um, you know, what, when I told her about what this movement meant for us and what we're trying to do, you know, one, I don't think she understands, like, the digital impact, like, the virtual impact that can happen. She, she can't wrap her head around that. But at the same time, she was like, what's the point of doing this? You know, why, why do you need to create, like, chaos? And it's like, Grandma, like, we're not creating chaos. We're, we're trying to create change. The campaign's founders say Asian-owned businesses are reporting an 80% drop in revenue due to xenophobia, fueled by COVID-19. The goal of hashtag hate is a virus is to not only educate, but to raise $1 million with the hopes of keeping those businesses afloat. We see all the struggles going on. Let's unite, against, let's unite with each other to really push through and stick together, fight against racism, uh, and really support our communities right now, because now is, now is, the, the, is one of the most crucial times for us to stick together. It's not just groups of Asians coming together to shed light on racism in America today. This week, leaders from the Congressional Hispanic, Black, and Asian caucuses came together to condemn the racism. Amy Allison, 
founder of She the People, an organization dedicated to elevating the voices of women of color, believes the path to true acceptance must spread across ethnic backgrounds. We're in a, a, a point in our lives where many people are concerned first by, about food and shelter, the basics. We're concerned about our friends and our families, but we're also being called um, to show personal courage to uphold fundamental values of, of fairness and protection for our communities.